like a pro. <laughs> That's what he does. <laughs>
I went in and I gave her some um, long layers. And I was like, actually they weren't long, they were quite wispy. She just wanted more interior shape done to her hair. And it was beautiful. And I was like, okay, well we'll just live here and then we'll come back and then we'll color it or whatever. So she comes back for her hair color appointment, which was this session. And I looked at her when she came through the door and I was like, you like to get a haircut, ain't you? And she fell out laughing. I was like, I already knew. I was like, she to me, she ain't going to keep all that long hair on her head. Talking about she wants some layers. No, she wants a cut. I can almost guarantee she, I just know her. I know her at the back of my hand when it comes down to this hair. So um, we played with some looks. We was going through browsing. And I was like, okay. Um, so the thing was, Okay, I'm going to keep um, some length more so in the front because she is natural and she also has hair color. And so I was like, if we go too short, that's going to force us the opposite direction where you might have to um, explore the option of getting a partial relaxer or even just the nape, you know, just depending on what we plan on doing. But luckily, she was like, you know, she still wanted to keep some length around the front. So I was like, I got the perfect shape. You know, let's take off the back. Let's go ahead and razor that on down. And then let's keep the weight up at the top so you get to have like the best of both worlds. You know, like a, a super pixie bob almost. And when I say pixie bob, I truly mean pixie bob because everything from her earlobe down was fairly short so it turned out beautiful it turned out great um the cut really i mean the, the cut just woke up everything it's just amazing like we didn't even have to color it because the cut itself i could have just went ahead and styled it but she was ready for a big change so here we are um i went ahead and i touched up her roots i use 7bc by matrix which is blonde copper or brown copper one of the two i when i look at the thing i'll put it up there but um use my traditional 7bc for her base i didn't change her base kept that the same and i'm going in with my um pulp riot clay lightener for her highlights and i'm using the clay lightener because we're doing open air processing and I also want to say that I use, I believe I use 20 volume with this. Again, I'll make sure I add that up there once I look at her chart. And um, I am doing all freehand painting. Um, we already have an excellent canvas. All to me, she's blonde has been cut out and grown out. So we're working with just fresh, uh, just one simple, um, all even canvas to begin with you know we don't have much dimension in her hair at all it's just like one solid base color and i was like okay good let's go ahead and start building this look so the thing with tamishi is that we have changed her hair color so many times she has been ice blonde she has been uh like a red and copper she's been blush she's been um like a nice warm um not it's not it wasn't a honey blonde but it was it was a warm blonde essentially like we've we've missed so many things so this look was a lot different for us and i was like look i had an idea of what it was going to turn out like but i really didn't know what because i was like look let me just make some mix up something and let's just see <laughs> let's just see let you know where the chips fall but i did know that i wanted her to have um a copper blonde um suitable for the fall and winter months i wanted her to be just a little bit darker than what we have normally been and it turned out so pretty. Like, look at her color. And she can wear a nice wash and go with this, too. And I know she normally doesn't do that, but she can. She can get away with it. And, oh, her, her color turned out so pretty. Like, when, if it's popping when it's wet, I just know it's going to be popping when it's dry. So, I'm making sure I go ahead and I blow dry this thoroughly all the way through. When you're working with fresh shortcuts, it can be sometimes a little difficult, especially with my large brush like this to get in there i could go in with my um with my round brushes to blow dry her hair 
but mm, I didn't feel like searching for them. I, I, they've been tucked away because I haven't used them in so long, <laughs> but um, that I do have much smaller brushes I could use to get in there, but what for? You know, I just took my time and got through it and it, it turned out it turned out good, nice and smooth, um, nice and prepped for um, the flat iron portion. So guys, I have went ahead and pressed uh, Tamishi's hair off camera. Um, and of course I use my laminate spray and I also use my KMB uh, silk glosser. Um, apply. I apply that after blow drying her hair just to make sure we got her ends nice and lubricated. Then I pressed her out on about um, 410. Her hair doesn't require that much heat. Um, it's already color treated. Curl pattern is already a little bit looser, so um, I didn't have to use no uh, no high heat on her hair. But now I'm just going through and cleaning up this cut a little bit more, detailing it even further. Uh, this is one of my favorite parts of doing a razor cut. We get to go in and just add those little intricate details. Um, in the beginning, I did the rough cut like you saw, and then after you press it out that's when you want to go in and just you know fix little things add little details that really um make it personal and uh really go in and just add that extra flair that you want so um if you are new to this channel you probably are not familiar with this process but if you are a brandy beauty family member then you already know what's about to happen we have to do a soft mold on tamishi's hair because um she got a fresh cut and like y'all know, y'all hear me say it a thousand times, when you have a fresh bob cut like this and your hair is natural, you have to train it to lay down. Um, especially when your hair is curly. Curly hair grows up. It does not grow down. You have to train it to stay down. You have to train it to lay straight. You have to train it to do whatever it is that you want that hair to do. So I'm using my trusty dusty Kenra number 13 hairspray. It's a medium hold, so not too hard, but it's also just a little bit firmer than the versatile hold, the soft hold that I use on longer hair. Um, just because shorter hair sometimes needs a little extra kick, especially such as this. And I'm going to use my mesh wrap. Y'all, everybody always asks me um, about this little wrap and I cannot find it. I bought two of them when I bought it, but the difference between this one and the traditional Velcro wraps that you see is that these holes are so fine so the hair doesn't stick through them like the other ones. So it does an excellent job at laying the hair down. And I just know most beauty supply stores don't have them, but they are excellent for doing soft molds because it provides perfect ventilation so the hair doesn't um, start getting sweaty at the roots. You don't, you know, getting all hot and stuff under the dryer. Even though when I do soft molds, I use uh, cool heat. It still allows for proper uh, ventilation for that air to hit the scalp, the hair from root to tip. So I love using that wrap for my soft molds. It really does do the job. And it allows that, that, not, that everything we put on the hair to travel seamlessly. So without drying the hair out too. So now I'm, I'm taking my flat iron, getting ready to style her hair. Again, I dropped my heat down even lower this time. I believe I'll be using it on 370 to curl her hair, to style it. Um, just know that when you, after pressing your hair, you do not need to um, use any high heat to style. Um, what for you know what i'm saying like the hair is already straight and you don't want to burn your hair by continuously using high heat it's just, that's just way too much now again this is subjective um and this is case by case um there have been a time or two where i've had to use high heat but that's normally when the hair is just extremely porous or damaged and Normally when I have clients who are coming in in a state like that, I am normally trying to convince them or trying to tell them that, hey, you need to get a haircut because um, putting all this heat on your hair over time, is just going to break it down even more and you don't want that. Just cut it off when it's just that damaged so you don't have to use excessive heat because nine out of ten times 
when the hair is healthy, you don't need to use high heat, especially when it's nice and lubricated and moisturized. It'll pretty much do what you want it to do without you having to overwork yourself, you know, going over it um, two and three times. Like, mm -mm. one pass. That's all you'll need. Get through it. So, it's turning out so good, guys. Oh, I'm so excited. And oh, I was, like, trying to stop myself from showing her that mirror when I was working because it's one thing when you just start seeing the look just completely come together and... This is the first time to me she has like, we've decided to go this short. Like we have have done a lot of different things. We've done bobs, we've done different kind of layered styles. We've done a million and one different bobs, but none like this. <laughs> we haven't been this daring yet. So, and at least since I have been her stylist, I know she has told me before that she had a pixie cut and I love doing pixie cuts. Like pixie cuts are to die for. Like they give me life. But um sometimes depending on how short you go, pixies can be a little bit limited. Um, especially the more you cut off the top. I mean they're beautiful and they are low maintenance, but when it's like this length, it gives you more versatility in terms of like curling it and styling it. Like we went and we opted for like a grunge kind of look today, you know, like rock star kind of lifestyle situation. You know, we didn't want too much curl in it. I wanted it more straighter than anything so she could really get the full effect of the wispiness of the cut. And you see that razor just it did its thing like you see how wispy the front looks right here like that's that's that razor cut honey that is that's that razor for you i love me a good old razor cut like look at the back and the size and everything like it's uniform but airy you know it has a light wispiness to it you know think of you know beer battered captain d's y'all eat captain d's right okay maybe not okay well, y'all know how to crust, you know, you got thin crust and then you got like, <laughs> you got that thick piece of hut crust. Like this is giving your pie. This is giving cauliflower crust. That's what you call this. That's, that's, that's what a razor cut is. It's cauliflower crust. It's light, it's airy, it's wispy, it's fun, it's flirty, all those good things. Um... I can't wait, y'all. I, I feel like I really need to get on here and do some more razor cuts, especially when it comes down to like bangs. Like, I and I do them in a salon all the time. Like, I never think to like film when I when I'm doing a razor cut. Like, Jesus Christ, I gotta do better. But when you're doing like bangs, oh my God, because like, you know sometimes bangs can just be real thick. Like Nicki Minaj is known for her bangs, like looking real thick, and they're beautiful on her, but everybody they don't look good on everybody so razor cuts are perfect for that fringe area too keeping it nice and soft nice face frame detail all that good stuff to me she's hair came out beautiful and look if you have not subscribed make sure you go ahead and just get that done look okay because we get ready to enter a new year and y'all need to go ahead and join the brandy beauty fam because we be doing stuff we be doing hair and it be like real lit around here and we be having fun that's what it is so thank y'all so much for watching and make sure you like comment share subscribe all that good stuff and i will see y'all in next week's video oh and happy thanksgiving y'all